I'm wearing the same outfit as I did in my last video or my next video. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put these up. Haven't decided yet. But today, in all of the brightness that is this beautiful Saturday, I am going to be doing a review of the Wet n Wild Intuitive Bled Blend Shade Adjusting Foundation and Primer. This color is in Fair 175. Now, typically, you guys know my reviews. I will try this on. I'll have kind of a um, impressions video or impressions portion of my video, but not for this bad boy. Woohoo! Because this seriously sucks. This is by far the worst foundation I have ever tried. I don't know if I got some sort of like crazy one that's just like horrible or what, but um, not a fan. I had a serious allergic reaction to this. Now I have pretty sensitive skin and I have, I break out over many, many products. Like I can't wear the Revlon um, Color Stay or whatever the really popular Revlon one that everyone and their dog wears can't wear that one it breaks me out can't wear Neutrogena even though Neutrogena is like dermatologist tested can't wear it it gives me a rash but this this bad boy did something I have never had happen to to me before in my life I actually got chemical burn from this <laughs> and I was putting it on and it was fine up until um well I I squirted some out and I was putting it on my face and then I went to get more and put it on my forehead and when I started putting it on my forehead it started burning like no tomorrow and it was really nuts like I have never felt anything like it before like I literally felt like my skin was falling off and I wish I would have kept the clip but I deleted it because I'm an idiot but it's so funny because in the clip you can see me like I'm putting it on I'm like oh I don't know how I feel about this blah 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 and all of a sudden my eyebrows like they're normal and then all of a sudden you see them start like slowly getting more and more furrowed and towards the end I'm like uh uh this is not working I gotta go and I wash it off and I wash my face like three times and I literally had chemical burn all down my cheeks and a little bit underneath um like my eye area and that night I saw my mom and my mom was like what happened to your face and I was like I don't want to talk about it I don't want to talk about it you know that when your mom says that <laughs> it's not very good so let me go ahead and show you the actual product so um it comes out white and it has um little like beads in it which feel like they're exfoliating your face but those are what hold the um the pigmentation for to intuitively match your skin tone i'll spread it out so maybe you can see now they're not little beads they're like big beads they're like nerds size beads if you were to get nerds like the candy nerds and put it with foundation that's what it would feel like putting on your face and then when you so it starts out as white and when you mix it into your skin it starts turning into a different shade now i kind of feel like like things like this are kind of gimmicky I don't feel like they're actual shade matching I feel like it's just um it's just a color that makes it seem like it goes to your skin tone but even here you can tell this is far too pink for my skin tone I don't know if you can't tell because of the lighting in here but um super pink and when I put it on my hand like I put it on my hand when I was showing my mom and I didn't get like that crazy allergic reaction that I originally did um but it definitely is a very thick formula and it is very like tacky to the touch and um I feel like it takes a long time to set it's it's a very very thick formula but I don't feel like it's full coverage I don't know, it's really weird. And this is a super, super cheap foundation, and I was super excited to try it because I wanted something that I could use on all of my clients for when I do their makeup, something that will intuitively match to their skin tone. Uh-uh, I will never use this, or I will never suggest this to anyone. If you are in the store, skip past this. Not worth it. it. Even if you don't have an allergic reaction, the feeling is just not good. It just doesn't feel good. It's just so tacky and thick and it's not fun. If, if you're going to pick up one from Wet n Wild, I would suggest the 
um, coverall cream foundation. This is very thick too, but um, I feel like it is a very full coverage foundation and it doesn't stay tacky. It does um, set and it will last all day. This also has a great range for those of us pale princesses. Like there are, there's one in the line that is actually too light for me, which has only happened with one other foundation ever and that was uh, Kat Von D's foundation. So this is great for people with super pale skin. Um, I do like this one more. I think they're actually the same price point. So if you're going to pick one up, pick this one up. If you're looking for something that is more of a natural finish, I would just skip over both of them. Okay, so that is my review of the Demon product Wet n Wild Intuitive Blend. If you guys like this, I am so happy for you <laughs> because I never want anyone to experience what I did when I tried this on ever. I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you guys are having so much fun in your life because life should be fun. Please like and subscribe to my channel if you liked this review. I do reviews all the time. They're typically my favorite type of video, those and tags. I like both of those type of videos. Um, and if you want me to review anything particular, please leave it down below as well. Please like and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. I ain't gonna live forever.